What? What's going on guys? It's Big Hero Chris here with your NXT Vengeance Day review. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, leave me some comments in the comment section, you know, let's talk this thing out, let's talk about, let's talk about NXT Vengeance Day, um, yo, yo, that was a good show, I haven't really been following NXT weekly like that, but the takeovers always deliver to me, so I knew, I, I didn't have any doubt that this would be a good show, and good God, oh. So the show actually started with the pre-show and normally I don't talk about the pre-show but this time I gotta talk about the pre-show because Eli Drake from Impact Wrestling or the formerly known as Eli Drake now known as I think it's L LA Knight and LA Knight I, I, mm, I'm a little iffy on the name I can't lie I, I, I like Eli Drake I like him from Impact um he cut an amazing, like, he just cut an amazing promo on Way Barrett and um, Sam Roberts. But his name, though, um, e LA Knight, I'm not feeling that. It sounds like a, an expansion football team, like a new football team, or it kind of, I, I saw on Twitter someone said it, it's like a cross between LA Gears and, <laughs> like, LA Gears and British Knights. I'm like, yeah, I'm not feeling the name. Maybe I'll grow to love it eventually, but right now I'm not really feeling it. But it is good to see a, um, LA Knight. I'm, I'm not feeling that name, but I'll get used to it, I guess. It is cool to see him on, on uh, NXT. It's going to be very interesting to see what he does, how he's used, how he's pushed. Um, if you're not familiar with this guy, based on this promo he cut on uh, the pre-show, you can already tell that he's going to be a big star in NXT. And it's just going to be very interesting to see what it is that he does and how he's used and what they do with him going forward. Okay, so the first match on the card was the finals of the Women's Dusty Cup Tournament featuring Ember Moon and Shotzi Blackheart going up against Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez. And to me, the, um, NXT is very interesting to me because they have a way of... At least for me, this is how it feels for me that you you're not really upset either way because going into this match, I was expecting Ember Moon and Shotzi to win because I wanted them to go on and um, face Shia, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, and I just wanted to see Shotzi shoot Nia with her tank. That's all I wanted. That's the only reason I wanted to see them win. But I'm not mad that they didn't. I'm, I'm not mad that they lost. I'm actually cool with um, Dakota and Raquel winning. It's, it's just an interesting dynamic between the, these two teams. And then you also have the fact that um, Naomi and Lana are the number one contenders. So Dakota and um, Raquel could actually be facing them instead of Nia and Shayna. We, we don't know. It's just, um, it's just very interesting to see what happens with these teams going forward. Next we have Johnny Gargano versus Kushida. And I would like to take this moment to address a serious situation that's happening right now. Something that's very, very serious. Um, Dexter Loomis kidnapped Austin Theory. We have no idea where Austin is. We have no idea if he's safe. We have no idea what Dexter is doing to him, but he's missing. During the, the Way's entrance, he Austin was taken, and as um, Johnny was making his way to the ring, he went for the high five, but there was no Austin. And Johnny was so devastated, he sent um, Candice and Indy to the back to go look for him. And I thought this was actually was going to tie into the finish. Um, I thought this was going to lead. I thought the match was going to happen and Kushida was actually going to win. And I was thinking that Johnny Gargano could use his as an excuse. Oh, well, I, I lost because I was so concerned over Austin's well-being. I was worried about him. 
uh, he's like the, his son to me and they're actually like this big goofy family so i thought that was actually going to tie to the finish but it didn't um johnny gargano won and these two had a hell of a match like it was it was just awesome just the way that they work together and the way they just they counter each other and it was just so interesting it was just an interesting back and forth between these two i honestly thought kushida was going to win all in all honestly i really thought kushida was going to win not joking but i really thought he was going to win but he didn't but again going back to what i was saying earlier i'm not mad that johnny gargano won but i am thinking okay it would have been nice if kushida won because now you he has the um north american title and now he has something but he lost, so what does he what does he do going forward? Where does he play in this? Does he get a rematch? Does he I, I don't know because it wasn't even um any shenanigans that happened and he he lost clean, so where does Kashida go now? Does this lead to a few between the way and Dexter Loomis? I honestly feel like Dexter Loomis needs to be arrested for kidnapping Austin Theory. I'm sure the way well, I'm sure Johnny and Candace are very concerned about Austin. And if there's anything my subscribers can do, anything that any of you guys can do to help bring Austin back to the way, bring him back home, please, please. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm so, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm, forgive me, please. I, I think I got myself together. Um, Austin, come home soon, please, please. Um, okay, I'm sorry. Next, we have the finals of the Men's Dusty Cup Tournament featuring MSK and the Grizzled Young Veterans. <laughs> that was a terrible accent, I'm sorry, but I had to do it. Um, MSK, dude, these guys are freaking awesome. Um, it's, and it's actually funny that I um, found out about these guys when they were in Impact, known as the Rascals right as they're getting ready to leave impact and come to the wwe i'm like duh oh, bro what the fuck but um it is cool to see that they're being how they're being used how they debuted at the beginning of the um, of this tournament and how they advanced to the end to the finals right now facing off the grizzly young veterans and again nxt doing nxt things um i would have been cool with either team winning i would have been cool with the Grizzly Young Veterans winning because last year they made it to the finals but they lost. So you figured, okay, this year they're gonna make it all the way to the finals and then win. Like they, they, they'll put up a hell of a fight and then go over. But that wasn't the case. MSK won, and again, these guys are freaking awesome. Oh my god, I can't wait to see more of them. MSK is freaking awesome. <laughs> I can't really articulate anything else. I can just say that these guys rock my socks. I still have my socks on, but yeah, they, they're they great. MSK won, and I've only been watching these guys for a short period of time, but I was really excited and happy that they won. I was like, oh shit, they won, this is awesome. So, yeah, MSK. Okay, so next we have the NXT women's title being defended in a triple threat match between Tony Storm, Mercedes Martinez, and Io Shirai. And this just started off as a fight from jump. They didn't even get to do the um, introduction, I don't think. I think they just, um, who was it? Merce Mercedes Martinez just came out and she just started beating up everybody. And this was just a fight. This was. A throwdown, a slobber knocker, if you will. Um, <laughs> I got to talk about the table spot. Um, Tony Storm was looking like she was about to put someone through the um, the uh, announcer's table, and the announcer's table just said, "No, you're not. No, it just collapsed." She was clearing the table, getting the stuff out of the way, and the table just fell apart. I guess it was protesting, saying, "No, I'm not taking this shit no more. I'm not." You're not putting anyone through me. I, I guess that's what it looked like to me. Um, that was hilarious. Um, Eagle should ride one. And I have no complaints. I'm not mad. That's who I wanted to win anyway. So that's cool with me. The only thing I could say that I had an issue with this match. It was not really an issue. But it just seemed kind of weird to me. Was it felt short. Like it, it, 
it, like it felt like it ended sooner than it should have like there should have been a little bit more time but other than that dope match all right now it's time for the main event the match we've been waiting for the match actually it's not even the match you know what we're waiting for like you know what you want me to talk about but we gotta get to the we gotta get through the match to get through that so pete dunn finn balor these two wrestled 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 um pete dunn went after the jaw um finn balor went after the knee and that was pretty much the story of the match um these two i don't know if they they must have that thing going on where they don't know what wrestling isn't you know it's not real <laughs> and um these two just beat each other like they owed each other money like somebody owed someone money someone talking about someone's mom it was that kind of fight um stiff um p dunn did that kept doing that thing where he kept breaking his snapping his fingers and it was just crazy um there was actually one part, one point of the match where I thought Pete Dunne was gonna win. He had um he had Finn Balor set up for the bitter end, and he had Finn Balor, um he had his arm between his leg in a pump handle position, and he kind of rammed it up and gave him a low blow without. I mean it it was a low blow, but it it made him it made it look like Finn Balor gave himself a low blow. He he got away. Finn, Pete Dunne got away with giving with a low blow pretty much is what I'm trying to get at um end of the day Finn Balor wins um the kings of NXT come out Pete I mean um yeah the kings of NXT come out Orny Orny the, the, the um, NXT tag team I can't say his name the NXT tag team champions come out to help Pete Dunne they um put the boots to Finn um Giving him a little beat down. Undisputed Era comes out, and I'm like, okay, now it's on. You know, this, this is what I, this is what I figured was gonna happen. Um, the NXT Tag Team Champions would come out. Undisputed Era uh, would come out, and it would just be a big fight. So Undisputed Era runs the um, runs the Kings of NXT away, and yeah, you think you think all right, everything's cool. Finn Balor still champion. Everyone's posing in the ring. They're doing the Undisputed. I don't even know how you do it. Isn't like this. Anyway, um, they're doing the Undisputed Era pose, and out of nowhere, Adam Cole super kicks Finn Balor. And it's like, yo, bro, did you just do that? And you kind of figure that was coming because, um, you, you kind of figured that was coming. You, you figured that Adam Cole was going to come back for, NXT, for the NXT Championship eventually, but you didn't know it would be at this moment. And then everyone's confused. They're like, "Yo, man. Kyle O'Reilly was like, yo, what, what are you doing? Boom, super kick the Kyle O'Reilly. Bro, who saw that coming? I didn't see that coming at all. Um, what, what does this mean? Is the Undisputed Era over? I mean, it's gotta be, right? Because you got Adam Cole super kicking everybody. Roderick Strong's looking like um, DJ Academics when the Migos were about to jump Joe Budden. Bobby Fish is injured, so how is that all gonna factor? What what does this mean going forward? I don't know. I don't have the answers. Maybe you guys have the answers. Maybe you can let me know in the comments what you guys think is gonna happen going forward. Um, ah, that's all I got. This this was a good show. Um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Did you guys enjoy it? Um, what were your, what were some of your favorite matches on the show? What were your, some of your favorite moments? Um, was it Cameron Grimes music video? Was it that? Was it the super kick heard around the world? Let me know in the comments. Let me, let me just let me know something, man. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I need, I need a hug and a beer.